You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for the next Retro Happy Meal toy set. This is Beauty and the Beast from 2002. Let me double check. Yes, 2002. A six toy set, plus, of course, we have the original Happy Meal bag with this little bonus item on the front. It says Happy Meal Blast Off. So let's do this. I'll move the toys out of the way. We'll come back. And we'll check out the Happy Meal bag. All right, so the original bag from 2002, it says, Be Our Guest, McDonald's probably presents your Happy Meal. And this looks like it is the DVD and video release back in October of 2002. And this side panel says, Meanwhile, the Beast watches the world through his magic mirror. Okay, watching the world through his magic mirror. And then this side says, Late at night, Belle sneaks out of her room. She's hungry. And then the back, I will take this off now. This looks like it just had some little bit of glue on it. It says, Le Mure sings to Belle at dinner. Be our guest. Put our service to the test. And then let's check this out here. This is the little card that came in or attached to the bag. So we'll take a look at that and see what that is. I'm not sure. Maybe it's a... Okay, so, so it opens and closes. Hmm. Let's see. No, I don't think that... Uh, it says, Happy Meal Blast Off. Walt Disney Pictures presents Beauty and the Beast Special Edition. And it looks like it folds up a tale as old as time new again. A tale as old as time is new again. She's a real beauty. Hmm, looks like it does something. I don't, don't want to take it apart any further. Well, there is more there. It says, hello. Bonjour, hello. Spell, oh, so maybe it flips like that. Mm-hmm, very interesting little piece. Not exactly sure yet what it does, but maybe I'll figure it out by the time the toys are done. So that is that. It's paper glued so it doesn't rip apart after that. Oh, and it opens this way too. Oh, that's cool. See? There you go. Hello, bonjour. Spellbinding fun for everyone. So then you can flip it this way. And then, let's see. So it doesn't show that way, but I guess each scene can be flipped differently depending on which way you flip it. Okay? Very neat. Let's move on to the six toys. Of course, we're going to start with toy number one. All right, here we go. Toy number one, the Beast toy. And this is the Beast with the rose under the little dome. And it's a nice big toy, as you can tell. We'll see if it's musical or not. I'm pretty sure something happened. We've had our experiences with these Beast toys in the past. One took us a long time to find, but we eventually did. Okay, so that comes off of there. So this comes off of here. And then this looks like it sits on his hand, like here, like so. Our moves. All right, so let's see. Let's take a look. I'll let you look at that. So, one, put the dome on. Two. Raise and lower the arm. Three, lift the dome. Four, all right, let's see what happens. Ooh, okay, so he moves this way. You're not saying lifting the arm, you're turning it this way. They show the arm in the up position, though. Oh, his mouth changes. Let's see. Does this arm move? Oh, it does. Okay, so there's more than meets the eye with this toy. Let me just look around. Okay, this does turn. Well, it just looks like it swings back and forth. So one... So this has something to do with it, but not sure. Just Oh, did you see? His arm did move. But I don't think that's it. Really to it. See here it shows the arm turned up. 
but I don't think this arm's gonna, this arm does not go up. This arm kind of moves, but it doesn't do anything. Well, there you go. Not sure exactly what it does just yet. One of those things, you know. But I have to move on to toy number two, and I'll come back to that. So toy number two, let's look at that one, toy number two. I will come back to you, toy number one is Bell. All right, so let's see what Bell does. Sometimes they also just don't work. We've had a lot of toys that just stopped working right out of the bag. Okay, so Bell looks like she goes from side to side. And then it's a, what looks to be a stacking type game. Okay, simple enough. We have this tray. This tray, they all look to be about the same on the bottom. So you got a bunch of trays and some smaller looking trays. So there's two sizes. And then it looks like you just stack and balance. Okay. Looks like you stack and don't balance. Let's see if there's a starting tray. Nope. All right, so let's take a look. Do not want to stand. Let's see. Okay, that arm was turned a little bit away. Ooh. But you see happy bell and then sad bell. So she's happy when they're all stacked. She's sad when they fall. Oh, there you go. I notice the bottoms on these two are a little bit different, but nothing fits. Since they are flat on the bottom of the tray, so I think it's just a balancing, stacking toy. And she doesn't seem to be too stable. So if you put this one here, it does not look like it'll at all stay until you get one here. So that's what I'm sensing here. So stuff like that. All right, that is toy number two. Very cool. Let me bag up toy number two while you take a look at her. And I'll have to bring them all back. See if I missed something. Okay, toy one, toy two. Toy three is Lemire. Lumiere. See what he does. Move this out of the way. I've never seen this set actually before. Not all of it, just the beast one. I've never seen these trays. I don't even didn't even know they existed. So more instructions. This one I think I've seen. Looks like a flipping toy, yes, a flipping toy. You flip this over and try to catch it. In his mouth. Oh, is that control? That's controlled up here. So when this hits it. It opens, see? Well, it surely isn't easy. Here we go. Nope. Ooh, I opened it. Nope. Now, let's see. Okay, so yeah, put it on the table. See, they even show you. Ooh, get back in focus there, buddy. Set it on the table. Push his eyes closed, flip it over, catch it on top, and now he's happy again. So this is going to go like this. Okay. Toy number three. Toy number four is Cogsworth. I guess I'm just not, not doing too well here today. More pieces now. 
so wind it up. Something winds up in the back. Put in all the little pieces. Let's see. They all appear, well, these appear to have different sizes. This one looks like the smallest. Ooh. So they are a little bit different. They're all a little bit different. Okay. So let's see. Wind it up. And then you're putting these pieces in. Ah. Oh. Look at his eye. So it's kind of. Whoa. See that? Line it back up. It feels like my winder isn't working already. So they're all just a little bit different in size, and that opens his eyes, see? But I think the winder's already... Oh, there it goes. When everything's in, that will not move. And the winder is not working. But I think we get it. So it starts like all of them out, then you slowly put them in as the time ticks, and then his eyes open. All right, so the winder on that one is not working as good as it should. Can't help it. Number five is Gaston. Let's check out our Gaston toy. I don't think I'll be taking that winder apart, but I can pretty much tell you that the little plastic piece probably just broken on the inside. Let's get a toy that just functions better. You know, it is from 2002, so it's 13 years old. Maybe just been jostled around and thrown around and shipped and, you know. all have an effect. Alright, all the pieces are out. So, this goes on to this. Oh, so it's my target. Alright, target set. Then, step two, arrow that was in the back comes out. So this was, this can store in here. Right. This goes in this hand. Let's turn your head around. This way. Let's get your hand the right way. Okay. Then, oh, the button's in the back, it looks like. This looks like it's going to fit in here somehow, but... Oh, here we go. Another toy to struggle with. Okay, they actually show the hand up here like this. But I don't see that. And then this. Okay, so that's going to go in there. So this. Let's just check out the mechanism. Okay, so that works. So this is actually going in here. This is kind of like just a miscellaneous piece that really doesn't do much of anything. Put that in there better. I get it now. So this looks like it just locks in real tight. This goes in here. There we go. Oh no. That doesn't fit there. So I think this just hangs loose. So that this can fit over it, I guess. It doesn't make any sense. Why do they do this? It just works better without it. Here we go. See? Unless this goes reversed. 
me see, once this is in, there's a little bit of room for that, but not much. He can hold it like that, I guess. Let me set up my target again. Here, I'll do it from this way. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Here we go. Pew, misses. This is more just a prop. wants to just go there like that. Oh, there we go. Must have just had it the wrong way. Here we go. Aim and fire. Missed. Gotta get it set just right. Aim and fire. Missed. Aim and fire. Okay, here we go. This time we're gonna make it. Oh wait, turn your head this way so you see what you're aiming at. Got it. All right, I like it. I figured it out. Sorry. The picture actually shows it wrong, okay? They show his hand above this piece here, okay? Not in it, and then here they show it in it here. Not making excuses. I just didn't know what I was doing. Phew. All right, next toy. Next and last toy. This is number six. This is Mrs. Potts and Chip. So what do Mrs. Potts and Chips do? Wash before use. For use with water only. So you pour from one to the other. Hmm. Chip is out now. So I guess I gotta get some water. Alright, well, I will be right back and I'll get some water. Alright, so it says to submerge in water and they even have a temperature grade 50 degrees. So very cold water, I would guess. Not that it matters, I don't think. Wash before use. So you're tipping this in here and filling it up. At least that's what they're showing, holding it under the water. Let's just see. Okay, yes, that is filling it up. Then pouring it into this unstable chip cup. Okay, and I guess the challenge is to pour until it stabilizes. See, it's all wobbly and out of control. Let's see. Whoa, whoa, okay. Did it. Okay, that looks like that's what it's supposed to do. Let's do it again. But you see this here, it doesn't. Ooh, ooh, pouring everywhere. Ooh, looks like I have a clean up in aisle seven. All right, I don't think there's much more to it than that. The bottom does spin. Let's see if that makes a difference with water leaking out. Nope, just wants to leak. Ooh, nice little, oh, that's a mess. All right, I'll be back with all of them on my little round table, and we'll take one more look at them. All right, here we go. Here is the complete set. Now, I figured out a few things just by looking at the instructions again. So let me just spin it around one more time, and then I will bring it back to toy number one. So you can see, well, I'm going to say overall they're very cool toys. And then number one. Okay, so the object with number one, there is an object, is... When you pull his arm back like that, okay, it sets his jaw like that. Then you take this off, and when you set it down, it makes him go, oh, and try to grab it. This one here, I believe, is a stacking game. This one here is a, you know, a catching game. you got to catch his hat. This one here is a timed game. But since my timer is broken, I think what you have to do is set the time, start it, and try to get all the pieces in the right spot. And then, of course, I figured him out how to put his bow in there. 
and this pouring one. So I guess it's more of just like a challenge to see if you can pour without spilling. That's what I'm guessing on all of these. I really don't know. So that is the six toy set from Beauty and the Beast 2002. Which is your favorite? I think I like the clock. I just wish it was working better. And thanks for watching. If you want to see other Happy Meal retro toys, look at the description for a playlist. As always, you could search Lucky Penny Shop. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.